The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Patty Hunter. My special guest today is Leona Boyd. She's a internationally known, excellent classical guitar player and singer. She'll be on my show for about half an hour and we'll see her in a sec. So I hope you have a great time. Oh, she's also an author too. So we'll talk about that as well. Catch you later. Hello, Le Leona Boyd, how are you? Thank you for being on my show today. This is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. Welcome to my show, Leona. Hi, Patty, nice to see you. Hello, it's, whoops. Oh. It has been a full year since we last seen you, girl. That's right, time flies when you're having fun, they say. Well, you've been right busy for the last year or so, haven't you? Yes, and I just got off a tour. I did 14 concerts wow. with my young accompanist. And this time I got to take my own sound man. And we had wonderful audiences. They were already Canadian. Last year we did play one U.S. date in, in West Palm Beach at the Kravitz Center. But this, this season it's all been uh, Canadian concerts. Oh, I wish you could come down here. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been to... Indiana. Because I'm, I'm reintroducing you to my audience as well. Yes. And um, I understand you received a Lifetime Achievement Award from Joanne. Yes, I was ver very honored. Joanne Falletta has this amazing international guitar competition with orchestras and, and young guitarists flying from all over the world. There were just some amazing players there, and so the award, uh, it's the first time they've actually given a Lifetime Achievement Awards. Um, oh. I have a lovely glass trophy. And, She's a legend. Uh, She's a legend. The... You're a legend, old girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was also associated with WNED, the yeah. sponsors, and... Uh, and the Buffalo Symphony. Oh, so I met in New a York. lot of wonderful people to do with both organizations. So I, I was very honored. I, I enjoyed seeing Buffalo. It had been many years since I've been down to Buffalo, an amazing old city. And I think it was that connection that helped get my uh, my PBS special. Yes. So that's been a big project. And I'm just thrilled that finally US audiences will get to see uh, my Christmas program as well as Canadian because you know we have a big spill over into Canada to I help people so. watch PBS here. Yeah. When did you do your Christmas special? Well, it was actually filmed a year ago, oh. uh, almost a year ago to date, uh, in Richmond Hill, which is a, the north part of Toronto. And I had a wonderful choir, an adult choir um, that uh, is associated with the church, with Richmond Hill United Church. Mm -hmm. And I had as a special guest Ron Corb, who's been nominated for Grammy. He's played on several of my albums, and uh, he's he's known all over the world for all different types of flute. He brought his solid gold oh, flute. Oh, I love, oh, I love flutes. Amazing, and then he played the the uh, what was it called? Like a, a almost like a a Celtic kind of flute when we did uh, uh, Christmas Dreams. We all sang together, and then I have this young accompanist who is an amazing musician. Uh, he's a model too, so he's very easy to look at. And he's six four, gorgeous, and twenty seven years old. And mm. audiences just fall, fell in love with him. And I, he did two solos. He did Oh Holy Night, and a piece I wrote called Aurora Borealis. So, yep. well, when you were uh, 
quoted as being the first lady of the guitar and of being internationally renowned classical guitar player. Wow. <laughs> well, huh? I have a um, sort of, um, well, I played all over the world and when I started there, were, there really wasn't any prominent female classical guitars. Now there are more girls who are playing guitar, which is great to see. Uh, through the internet, you can see so many. I was a bit of a trailblazer, I do believe, and that's, I wrote about all my early career and, and my first book, I'll show it to you. The first book that came out, it was came out in 98. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Oh, yes, and it's beautiful. I read, I read this whole book. <laughs> I made an audio book of it uh, that came out uh, uh, just a month ago, right? And um, it's called "In My Own Key: My Life in Love and Music." So it's my childhood. It's uh, all the adventures I had all over the world. I played with symphony orchestras and solo. Do tell and about I the adventures. Sorry. Do tell about the adventures, my dear. Or oh, do you want to? Well, <laughs> I played in South America. I was the opening act for. Gordon Lightfoot all over North America. I'm sure you know Gordon Lightfoot. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, in my new book and album, I have uh, this is called this is the new book that came out uh, just last year. I wrote a song uh, called Lightfoot, mm -hmm. and at the back of this book, you have a collection of different lyrics and poems that I've written. Um, yeah, I'd like to show you the different albums because uh, I have 28 all together. Oh my. And every song that I write basically has a story behind it, has some kind of uh, reason. I wrote one for the planet. I'm very concerned about what we're doing to the environment, as many, many people are, of course. And then I wrote one about people who care for the animals. That's the title. Right. And you can see, you know, you can hear them all on iTunes or Spotify. These days, people can stream my music. Mm -hmm. And if you look on YouTube, there are quite a few, well, there's actually dozens of interviews and uh, music videos that I shot all over the world, from Costa Rica, where I toured with the symphony orchestra, mm -hmm. to Acapulco, we did one in Mexico, some in L.A., because I used to live in L.A. Mm -hmm. One has definitely got a Moroccan feel. Um, I don't actually have a, a video for the new album, Oh, okay. um, but for the Winter Fantasy album, yes, I sing "Oh Holy Night." It's my uh, so favorite. People can see that. Have you seen that one? It's my favorite, actually. That oh, song. Oh, thank you. And then on the Christmas special, uh, Andrew sings "Oh Holy Night." This is Andrew person. You see, your protege. Yes, my protege, and he lives in a place called uh, Kitchener, which is where my sister and my mother live. They're about an hour from Toronto. What's his and last I had, name? I had two days off on the last tour, so I got uh, to enjoy uh, seeing them. What's his last name? Andrew Dolson. Dolson? Andrew Dolson. Yes, you'll see him big time on the, the Christmas special. We do all kinds of duos, some you know, classical guitar duets, and then he accompanies me, and uh, he's, he's got just a beautiful voice. Yesterday we were in the recording studio, mm -hmm. recording a new song that I wrote with a little bit of French, and he sings in the chorus. It hasn't been uh, uploaded anywhere. Nobody can hear it yet. It's not part of a record yet, but it will be. And he came over, and we had a nice time in the studio, and mm -hmm. we also recorded a piece that I wrote called This Amazing Thing Called Love. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> I originally recorded that with my Croatian duo partner the first time I started singing. I think you have that album, Patty. Yeah. Well, how long have you been singing this rehash? This? How long have you been singing now? I started singing. I ended up singing to my guitar about, uh, well, about 2007 and then brought out the first record in 2009. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's called The Honor Boy Sing Songs of Love. Uh -huh. 17 love songs, mm. uh, really beautiful melodies, and I wrote a lot of the melodies actually, and then all the lyrics except for one, which is the first time ever I saw your face, that's kind of a classic love song, and I have been always writing songs since I was little, mm -hmm. and winning awards for my writing, so it's kind of logical that I would become a singer-songwriter and uh, an author of two books. 
uh, I didn't ever think I would sing. It's because I, I had to quit guitar for six years. I'd overplayed mm-hmm. and nothing physically wrong with my hands, but the brain uh, maps get a little confused. So I actually stopped playing um, in, what was it, 2003 and took a little sabbatical and I was trying to figure out what was wrong and then I reinvented my technique mm-hmm. and uh, have been opening up a whole new chapter in my life, singing and songwriting, which uh, is, is a very exciting new chapter and that's what's made it so great to find somebody who also sings really well and who, who um, just matches me in so many ways, even though we're two generations apart, I guess. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, Andrew could almost be my <clears throat> grandchild, I suppose. Oh, my stars. So I've, been, I've very, been very lucky. I've got five honorary doctorates. Doctorates. Uh, three doctorates of law and two doctorates of music, I think it is. Oh, my God. Uh, and five Junos, which is the equivalent of your Grammy Awards in the U.S. And a five-time winner of Guitar Player Magazine. Pose. Yes, Guitar Player Magazine, which uh, is undergoing some changes now. Um, mm mm-hmm. But it's been uh, an amazing magazine for guitarists all over the world. And that was one particular honor because when you're honored by your own associates, people that really know how difficult it is to play the guitar Mm -hmm. and all different styles, I I was very touched that uh, five times I won it and then I got in the Hall of Fame. Oh, wow. Good girl. I can't win it anymore. I'm ineligible. You go for it, girl. I was going to say, your genre of your brand of music, what, what style, what, what, what's your genre? Really? Well, it's very hard to define my particular genre because I'm not purely classical anymore. I used to be purely classical. And I'm certainly not jazz and I'm not really rock or pop. I mean, I did a record in the 80s that had David Gilmore and... Mm-hmm. Eric Clapton, so that was yeah. not, not rock, but it was uh, classical crossover, they called it. Uh, these days I have a lot of folk elements in my music, but I'm kind of unique because it's all classical guitar we're playing, mm-hmm. classical guitar accompaniment. Um, I worked with so many different wonderful musicians, like Olivia Newton-John, she sang a song that I wrote called Canadian Summer Dreams. Oh, she's the, and, you're the one? And, yeah, and then uh, the American, well, he's kind of an honorary Canadian, Rompey Ronnie Hawkins, mm-hmm. he came and sang on my Lightfoot song, and when Gordon heard it, he was just very moved, because he and, and the Hawk, uh, Ronnie Hawkins, go back many, many years, and uh, we went and recorded him in, in Peterborough, Ontario, mm. at his home. Yeah. Uh, I recorded David Gilmore many years ago at his home, outside of London, and I've, you know, my recordings have really taken me around the world. I did some in London, I did one in Tokyo, The Light in Tokyo, and all these albums now are available through iTunes. Even going back to the 70s, my early classical records are all available. We don't make physical product. By the way, the audiobook, I'm jumping around, but the audiobook, well, yeah. you get the, the, this one now is in paperback too, right. but the audi- uh, audiobook is going to come out in physical and digital form. When? You know, uh, it's, it, we're in a funny time period. You can still get physical products of a lot of things, yeah. like CDs. We sold a lot of CDs on this last tour, but mm-hmm. some people don't even have CD players anymore. It's oh. like tapes, I suppose, in about five years, nobody will have CDs. No vinyl? Um, yeah. Vinyl? Everything's going digital. Oh, but digital. it's kind of oh. nice to hold something in your, in your hand. I still enjoy having books and uh, not just reading everything online. When, uh, when is that new book going to be uh, released? Is it already oh, been released? The new book is out, yes. No, I mean the audio. The audio book, uh, uh, it came out on the 27th of November. So, And it, the book will be available all over the world, which is great. I'm sure people in England will enjoy reading about my, my British childhood. And, mm. uh, uh, you know, in Canada, a lot of people come from different countries, but I, I have had such an interesting series of different chapters. I lived in Mexico for a year. I lived in Paris for two years. I lived in Beverly Hills for 14 years oh when my. I was married. Oh, yeah. Then I, I lived in Santa Monica. I lived in Connecticut. I have been a bit of a gypsy, moved around. And now, these days, I live in uh, Toronto in the summer. 
and Palm Beach in the winter. Oh, so it's one of those songbirds. Um, I'm very lucky. I've got a house on that crazy island where it's just very beautiful weather there, and I bicycle every day and do yoga and, and have some great friends you uh, keep in Florida. Shape. So we're called Canadian snowbirds. Snowbirds, that's it. We fly south when it gets too cold. Yes, put on the wings and there you go. I was come back around April. April, oh, oh, April. That's when it starts to thaw out up here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard living in the winter. I just, yeah. I like to wear fewer clothes, you know, I like summer clothes. I love yeah. wearing white and I, I've done a lot of writing down there. I go to the Breakers Hotel sometimes and I sit there, have a cappuccino and type away or I get inspired to write to write songs. I walk by the marina or walk along the beach and ideas come to me. Not that I haven't written songs in lonely hotel rooms and, and here in Toronto, but I, there's something about being with nature. And here in Toronto, I live in a condo. It's not quite the same. You can so I, always, any... I always come back with new music. You don't have pets or anything like that, just plants? Or... Pets, no. I'd love, I have plants, yes. <laughs> I'd love to uh, have a cat again one day. In fact, I wrote a a children's book called The Cat Who Played Guitar. Oh, my stars. It's, it's all in poetry because I had a beautiful cat when I was married. And uh, mm. my ex-husband and I were still friends. And, That's good. Uh, I used to have visiting rights. I'd go back and visit <laughs> Muffin, my cat. And, and then his new wife fell in love with Muffin, too. We were just beside her with this little creature. Mm. And I'm hoping that that's my project for 2019, to get the whole book illustrated and have that come out for children. Um, so I think that they does. will really love it, and it'll help. It'll help um, inspire children to know that you can do impossible dreams, and it'll teach them about poetry. When I was little, my parents would always read to me uh, poetry and children's books that were in poetry. So I think it's really important for children to be exposed to to the words, the beauty and magic of words. Yeah, I'm a writer I, myself, like a poet and a lyricist yeah. as well as you know. Um, lately, one of my poems has been turned into a song sang, sung by uh, Matt Gerber, who from what? Toronto. He's from Toronto, eh? And uh, it's called Two Little Owls. Oh, yes, yes. Congratulations on that song, Patty. Have you heard it? Did you manage to get to hear it, or did I yes. say Yes, um, I heard your song. Yeah, uh, he's, bravo. He, he didn't change anything. Uh, it's just my straight lyrics, and you just put music to it. So. Yeah. I mean, really, songs are poems put to music. That that's, I think that every word counts in a song, as you know, having yes. written songs. This is the, the new album. It's called No Remedy for Love. Right. And there's a picture of me in Palm Beach on the back. <laughs> Oh my and goodness. I have, uh, this is the one that has the Lightfoot song, it, it uh, has one that's called Nothing's as Cruel as Time, hmm. one I should have, there are a lot of romantic songs, it also has a theme song I wrote for Ontario. I have to get and, that um, one, I have to get that one, girl. And, oh, I've got to send you this one, and then the No Remedy for Love, uh, the book, it tells a lot of the behind the scenes stories of how these songs were created, and the different people involved, although, you know, mostly they're just ones I, I wrote on my own, and it's done really, really well. We sold a ton of those uh, on the, the last tour. Mm. This is the Christmas one. Oh, boy. The Winter Fantasy. Yes. And, uh, the the uh, TV special that we did was based on a lot of these pieces. And I have all kinds of older albums that you can get on iTunes, like, you know, Romantic Guitar, mm -hmm. in Spain on a White Horse. <laughs> you have a uh, website, uh, right? Yes, you can see them on the website or on iTunes. This is the one where I sat in the canoe. It was called The Return to Canada with Love. I don't it's see almost it. a double album. It's got all kinds of pieces inspired by coming back to Canada. Like it opens with Spirit of the Canadian Northlands. Mm -hmm. It's got one called Silver Birch. Um, Aurora Borealis, the one that uh, Andrew sings on the TV special, is actually from this album. Is it on a um, DVD or YouTube uh, that uh, uh, Christmas? Yes, yes, you can see, uh, uh, well, Canada, My Canada, my patriotic song for Canada, 
is on this. It ends with that one. And you can see a, a video of that with lyrics. And this is a really special, magical one. Here's my producer, Peter. Right. He's been involved with many of my albums. And I designed the, the cover, but uh, I commissioned an artist to actually paint it. Can well, I was going to say, you did that beautiful art, did you know? But well, I, I commissioned someone to paint it, but I right. did the sketch. It's all the oh, iconic uh, images, the river of life. And the, What's that this, called? It's very mystical, this album, and it has a poem inside that I wrote. And it, it's beautiful for relaxing. Uh, yeah. It's not a high-energy album, but it has beautiful melodies and really ethereal production. Let's see, I got like... some great reviews from yeah, I film just... producer. That, did you sing on that one or just guitar? No, this is mostly guitar. I do uh, one one thing, uh, the opening one, you hear a little bit of uh, right. singing, but it's layering of voices. My producer has an amazing uh yeah, for blending voices, and we're very influenced by film music, both of us. Uh, but he has done real magic. This is the most magical album. And as he was the same producer that did the, the Winter Fantasy album, yeah. this also has a lot of magic to it. And I think that's why the PBS folks got so excited when they, they saw how that translates and how... Um, they, I mean, I'm prejudiced, but I think classical guitar is the most beautiful instrument in the world anyway. It's very um, sensitive, it's very evocative. A lot of these, the only word to describe it really is very haunting, haunting themes and beautiful orchestrations and the beauty of just the notes on the guitar and the, the reverb. You know, when you play in churches, as yeah. we did for the Christmas special right. last year, and, and it was beautiful, we had poinsettias and um, just, just the whole setting. It just There's a, a great rapport with the audience and the audience was wonderful and uh, gave me standing ovations so it was uh, very special I'm delighted that we kind of immortalized the Christmas special with this it's called a winter fantasy and mm. I, I think what they're going to do is they're playing on certain stations this year on PBS and then next year it'll get on different stations around the country hopefully you get it in Indiana I do hope so really um, just a couple more minutes until we have to say, say, oh, wow, madame, and all that. I just want to say, uh, have you ever played along with another uh, guitarist like Chet Atkins or Eric Clapton or? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, I have played with many different guitarists. Uh, I did a whole album with Chet Atkins. He is oh. a legendary, you know, country gentleman, the sort of the first man of country guitar, I'd have to say. He influenced so many different players. And we did an album uh, years ago called uh, The First Nashville Guitar Quartet. Oh. Uh, we, we did it at his studio in Nashville. And it did, did really, really well. It was Chet and I, we were the well-known ones, and two studio players. And it was the idea of Shel Silverstein that... Uh, amazing writer. He came up with this concept, and uh, I must say, Chet was very helpful. He got me on the Today Show, as I think you probably know. I did the Tonight Show three times. I yes. did the Today Show. The right. I even did the Tomorrow Show with Tom Snyder oh, and Diane Shore and Merv Griffin <laughs> and all kinds of U.S. Over the TV years. shows and then international specials. So, yeah. And then I, I recorded with Eric Clapton and David Gilmour. I didn't tour with them, but uh, yeah. they were guests on an album I did called Persona. So every album is kind of different in a way. So and you I've don't been have very anything. lucky to have such a variety of different types of experiences, you know. No, Twice okay. playing with a band, I did a Latin album called Camino Latino. Mm -hmm. But I'm always most excited, I guess, about my latest album. So My husband just gave me the peace sign. I think that means uh, we have two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're so funny. Ah, I like you. You're when nice. I when I was in Burma giving concerts, that that's like V for victory, I guess. Right? Yeah. I don't know. All the little kids were doing that. I took my mother around the world on a lot of my concert tours, and that's why I had had all these adventures and decided to share it in a book. And I, this year, I'm going to do the audio book to the second. Uh, I'm going to read it all. It's, it's it takes a lot of time to read a whole book and make it perfect and check it. And, Make sure I pronounce everything correctly. 
So I will get that audio book. I have trouble reading. I'm, uh, my mind is faster than my, you know, the eyes or something like that. <laughs> oh, so, audio books are great. You can listen to them in the car. Yes. You can listen to them uh, in bed, uh, you know, just when you're walking around. And to have an audio book in the author's own words, I think, is special. That's why I wanted to do it, because basically only I know my life story and can... I mean, I did. I wrote, I read it word for word and did right. it all in Palm Beach. So I'm, I'm very happy it's now out there, so that people can download it and enjoy. I am so proud of you, girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the end of our half hour of talking with oh, Leon. Hope of to Floyd. see you next year. You will indeed, because I enjoy talking to you. You're such a delight. Do you know? Thank you, Patty. You're very kind. Thank you for having me on your show. Have a wonderful year. I mean, for me, it's been a wonderful past year. I think it was a, an exciting year to come, and I look forward to seeing you. Happy New months. Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Okay, girl. Bye-bye. Catch you later. <laughs> Bye.